5 p.m. local time here in the capital Nairobi at the best city in Africa. My name is Tony Kolanda. I'm your captain. I've been your captain from 4 p.m. We have been cruising at 36,000 feet above main sea level. We are on autopilot. Sit back, enjoy our refreshments and our sports cuisine. Thank you for staying with us. Remember, if you're joining us, we have our question of the day. It is a question that is very important to you if you are a football stakeholder or even if you're not, I'm sure you're part of the football ecosystem. We are asking you, who is your preferred FKF? That is Football Kenya Federation presidential aspirant and why? Talk to us. Our SMS number is 22047. 22047 is our SMS number. You can call us in live at 0. 795-045-864. 0795-045-864 is our number to call in live. Uh, and of course, you then you can engage with us and tell us who is your preferred um, candidate. Tell us your name and where you're watching this particular show from and give us uh, what your opinion is. On this show, uh, together with Radio 47, we shall be hosting one of the presidential aspirants. That is Cleophas Toto, in quotes, Shimanyula, uh, who, who is vying for the FKF pres uh, presidency. He is, of course, uh, the chairman of Kakamega Homeboys. Kakamega is my county where I was born and raised. <laughs> so um, football is born in Western Kenya, specifically the epicenter being Kakamega. <laughs> Karibu sana, thank you for staying with us. So on again, I see two more video clips on your WhatsApp. So you can see in a bit. We have, of course, um, we are, we've been trying to get our very good friend, Fred Arocho, who is carrying two flags in the Dominican Republic. Uh, he is there in the capacity of TV 47 and Radio 47 and following up uh, on the FIFA Under-17 Women's World Cup in that beautiful country in the Dominican Republic. Here, Dominican Republic, ni majirani wa Puerto Rico, ni majirani wa Haiti, kwa hiyo area. So definitely... A very good friend, Arocho, Fred Arocho, is there standing by uh, to give us the very latest. Um, my director, Inonda, is also on standby. Inonda, would you like us to go to Arocho in a bit? Or what do you think, Inonda, my director? All right. Right now, I'm being told we have we've been able to get, uh, get a hold of uh, Fred Arocho. And Arocho has the very, very, very latest from the Dominican Republic. Remember, he has been uh, earlier on yesterday... And early this morning, he's able to uh, get hold of, uh, of our team, that is the Junior Starlets, uh, led by Mildred Cheche. Uh, he's been able to talk to them, and he has a very little about, also he has engaged with the other teams, the likes of Spain, North Korea, Ecuador, Mexico. He has talked to all these uh, coaches and players, and this, of course, is what uh, Arocho has for us from the Dominican Republic. Thank you very much, Tony Kualanda. I'm receiving you live and clear uh, here in Dominican Republic for, for the eighth edition of the FIFA Under-17 uh, Women uh, World Cup. Now, Kenya, we played the first match, as you may know, that uh, we lost our first match against uh, England 2-0. And uh, all is expected uh, to be better when Kenya is playing against North Korea in the second match that uh, will be coming up uh, on Sunday. Uh, it will be uh, 7 p.m. here in Dominican Republic and of course in Nairobi it will be 2 a.m. in the morning. Now, uh, well, uh, many are wondering what really happened uh, in the first match where we lost 2-0. The opening minutes were marvelous. Kenya played so well, but uh, unfortunately, stage fright. Stage fright has been uh, our main problem and most of our, our good players did not turn up uh, well in that match. Uh, well, uh, it was more or less uh, a challenge uh, to most of the players that played. Remember that most of them have not even played uh, other than the, the, the only tournament that they played so far is the school games. So it was a challenge compared to a team uh, of uh, England stature. Remember that several players in that England national team are playing with uh, the top uh, English uh, youth teams in, in England. But having said that, I think um, kudos goes to um, several players who did so well in that match. Our goalkeeper, Velma Abwire, was quite outstanding uh, in that match. 
and I'd also like to give kudos to our captain, uh, Elizabeth Chaka, who um, gave a good account of, of herself in that defense. It was, it, it was, it was tough, yes, but um, um, I, I can confidently say that in the second match, I'm expecting a lot of uh, improvements. I visited their training session last night and uh, I could see a lot of progress and I could see a lot of confidence coming back uh, to the team. And uh, uh, another very good performance from uh, uh, Valerie Wekesa who was also uh, uh, quite uh, outstanding. She um, gave a lot of promise in, 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 in uh, her attack, more so towards the last uh, end of uh, uh, the match. Now, um, in Group C, I'm looking at North Korea to be our main challenger because North Korea, uh, having won uh, their opening match uh, against, against Mexico, uh, and it was a, a, a big win for them. So I'm expecting a lot of uh, very good uh, resistance from the North Korean when they're uh, taking on Kenya in the upcoming match. As I said, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the match is coming up in Nairobi at uh, 2 a.m. and of course here Dominican Republic it will be 7 uh, p.m. so uh, I, I still I'm still optimistic that Kenya will qualify because we uh, should try and get at least a draw in any case uh, we don't get a, a win against North Korea if we can pick a draw uh, then that will uh, uh, will be quite well for us because uh, with a draw and then of course we play against Mexico and hope that uh, England beat North Korea, then we'll have qualified uh, for the next uh, round. So it is North Korea, England, Kenya, and uh, Mexico. Um, the various players to be watched uh, when Kenya is playing uh, North Korea is the outstanding uh, Rim Jong Choi, who scored three goals in the opening match against Mexico. Uh, she, she plays on the right side and she's very dangerous, and I believe that Kenyans. Uh, led by the coach, have learned something out of that first match because she's very instrumental uh, in that North Korean side. Uh, she's quite speedy, she's confident, and she has a lot of uh, dribbling skills. So this is, it will be a moment for Kenyan to try and uh, look out for, uh, once again, Rim Chong uh, Cho, who scored three goals when uh, North Korea played against uh, Mexico in their opening encounter. Now, the teams that I expect to uh, make it to the next round, I expect Nigeria. Remember that Nigeria, another African representative, uh, opened. Yes, um, uh, we j we'll just catch up with Arocho in a bit. Um, he, uh, we just, let me just listen. Yes, Arocho is telling us that uh, he, he, he will be able to uh, brief us exactly about the other teams he was able to uh, get in touch with. That's the likes of uh, Spain. Um, in those other groups, Zambia, Nigeria, um, Colombia. He is a manager, of course, you can hear. He's told us as you were able to catch up with our team Kenya yesterday night. He also got a hold of several other coaches and players from the other groups. And uh, we'll be able, of course, to, uh, to link up with him in a few. Don't worry. I told you Radio 47 and TV 47 are... I've set up base or a pitched up tent in the Dominican Republic to give you the very latest from the FIFA Under-17 Women's World Cup. At Chesi, at Jok, we give you the very latest, uh, not only locally here, but beyond our borders. As I've told you, we are in the Dominican Republic, where the FIFA World Cup, Under-17 Women's World Cup, is happening, where Kenya is in Group C, together with North Korea, Mexico, and England. And of course, as you heard from Marocho, North Korea should be our worry. The others, we should be able at least um, to have uh, at least four points or five points to qualify and progress to the knockout stages of this competition. Now, um, remember, if you are joining us, this is live. This is Sports Extravaganza. We are also, uh, we shall be bringing you um, one of the Football Kenya Federation presidential aspirants, um, uh, that is, of course, uh, the chairman of Kakamega Homeboys, who is vying uh, for this.